Hello, my name is Gamer Singh, and this is my first YouTube video. Uh, the name of the video is Dark Matter and the Expansion of Our Universe. Dark Matter, Dark Universe. We've named it Dark Matter, but we don't know what it is or where it comes from. We think we know what it's doing to our universe, causing it to expand, but we don't know how. I propose that dark matter does not exist in our normal universe. Normal meaning the universe that we perceive and observe with our telescopes, satellite instrumentation, electronic devices, and eyes. Only with our large particle accelerators, fusion, and plasma experiments, we get a sense of what might be possible and what might not be normal in our universe. Stars are born and stars die. It's a continuous cycle in our expanding universe. However, mass in our universe is decreasing and black holes are responsible. And the dark matter is the byproduct of the matter that falls into black holes throughout our universe. Black holes are the natural occurring system that breaks matter down into its elemental particles and properties. I would call it the black hole process. We use particle accelerators to try to achieve the same effect. Black hole formation probably started after the very large hot new stars were exploding and imploding after the Big Bang. It's thought to be 100 billion galaxies in this universe and at the center of most of them a massive black hole exists. This falling matter is converted into plasma, releasing vast amount of energy in the process. Once mass, plasma, which is the fourth state of matter, passes through the event horizon, it is no longer in our normal universe, but in what we could call the dark matter universe, or as I would like to call it, black hole space. The powerful forces of magnetism and gravity acts as a one-way barrier between the two universes. It's the parallel universe that's theorized about. A star orbiting a black hole is an example of a loss of mass in our universe. Eventually all the star's mass will be consumed by the black hole. Where does it go when it passes into the event horizon? Wherever it goes it must be as hot as the core of a star. Imagine a whole universe a hot boiling 200 million degree hell. Question, what was the temperature of the Big Bang? How would the dark matter universe cause our universe to expand? Place markers on a large balloon and blow it up. The outer skin of the balloon where the markers are represents our universe. The inner skin represents the barrier between the two universes. The nozzle of the balloon would represent black holes, the one-way portals between the two universes, and the air in the balloon represent dark matter. The markers will move apart as the balloons expand. The more you inflate, the faster they will move apart. The faster the inflation, the faster the expansion. This is my low budget demonstration model. It's a helium tank and a balloon. I'm going to put the balloon on the tank, inflate it partially, put dots all around the balloon, and then inflate it to its bursting point to show the expansion of the balloon and the dots comparing it to the expanding our expanding universe and the influence that dark matter has on it. Notice how compact that is. See how compact that is? Now watch. I'm losing some of my dots. My dots have fallen off. But you see, when I let the air out, the contraction 
you can see I've put a lot of dots on that balloon. Now, when it inflates, they will move apart. Their only limit is the limit of the skin. But being that the universe is not like a balloon, but much vaster, the expansion can keep going on until infinity. The white dots have moved apart. That's because of the balloon stretching. But the same effect exists within our universe by the dark matter universe expanding, causing ours to move outward also. How far could it go? Hmm. That far. <laughs> the Big Bang. Hmm. The dark matter universe is, is expanding because the mass from our universe is pouring into it from all over our universe through the black hole process. That would explain the reason why dark matter seems not to be uniform in consistency. If there are no black holes in the area or gravity wells, perhaps the dark matter would be less dense. At the center of most spiral galaxies, massive black holes exist and that's where the dark matter would be most dense. Our galaxy itself would have a tremendously large gravity well. Perhaps that's why there seems to be a shell of dark matter clumped around our galaxy. In an article in the magazine Discover September 2000, they spoke of that. As mass from our universe decreases, mass in the dark matter universe increases, causing a differential in gravity or pressure from the increase in mass and expansion would increase. Looking at it from this point of view, it would explain the expansion theory leading up to the cold death of our universe. However, even though our universe may expand into coldness, the black hole process will continue to consume whatever matter is available and send it into the dark matter universe. This expansion could keep on going until most of the matter in our universe is consumed. It's also possible that the dark matter universe could expand to the bursting point and another big bang could occur. Not unlike a balloon that bursts when inflated too much, this could explain the big bang theory. And the possibility that the universe that we're in now is just another in a continuous cycle of multiple universes after each Big Bang. The ultimate form of recycling. Truly a never ending loop into infinity. That's my proposition. <laughs> and uh, I have other thoughts of that. So perhaps I'll bring them out later. Thank you. Written and videotaped, edited by Gaynor Singh, 2-15-10, thank you, over and out.